Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. First off, there's too many shoes in reach of your situation. You're supposed to be resting. This is Omar on a, a full tranquilizer. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Still, you can see his eyes are a little droopy, but he's like fighting it pretty hard. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, it's over. <laughs> we can't play. You're just gonna start bleeding. He won't wear his diaper. He just keeps ripping them off. Rubs his butt against the wall and just pulls them off. Basically, hey, come on. He's done. He's over. Hey, it's over. Nope. Hey, it's over. He's had enough. He's had enough. His guts are everywhere. You are bleeding from your Johnson. Enough is enough. Let's go. Let's go lay down. So we didn't wait on Ernie. Come on. New shark. Different shark. Small shark, very stone shark. You could give me this to dog shark. What? That's... Yeah. <sighs> this is the face of a man who forgot to bring the shirts he was supposed to bring. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay, I'll come get him. I'll see you in a minute. Peace. No, oh, leave it again? Um, yeah. We can go together. This can be our ride and we can just enjoy a little day. Omar will be all right for an hour. We're, we're gonna vlog. Something exciting is gonna happen on the way. So let's start with what you've asked me so far this morning. One, did my shoes come in last night? That yes. was the first question. I didn't watch the vlog, okay? Yeah. A lot of blood. I didn't want to relive it right away. I needed a moment. I started it last night, and the minute the graphic warning came up, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna eat dinner, chill. I'll watch this a little You're bit ridiculous. later. What was the other question? I can't remember. Oh, you asked if I, I cleaned the, the house. Yeah, you're like, did yeah. you clean the house? Yeah, I gotta get on it. Um, I don't know Anything what to else? say. No, mm -hmm. I want to get Weed. I need to get weed. Oh, Look, he's Lord. sagging his pants. I know, he bump. keeps fucking pulling it off. Yeah. You got a blunt. Who got him that? Bink. Is there something for me from Bink? Is there something for you from Bink? He said there was. He said, and I threw a little something in there for you too. You wanna know what it was? What? It's that glass blunt because you don't know how to roll a fucking blunt. Oh. Yeah, so essentially it's for me. You know what I'm saying? It was in the vlog yesterday. Oh. Maybe you should watch it. I was trying to go play a game of one-on-one -on -one today. Against me? Yeah. Well, we could, but no, I want to train a little. You want to train to go this play a so game This is so dope, dude. You got that, but you didn't get the cool box. Watch the fucking vlog. I'm going to fuck you up today. I don't have a face for it. Probably gonna skip the ad as soon as you do watch. Nope, I never skip the ads now. For all YouTubers. I watch every ad now. I was thinking about it yesterday. You understand me? I know you don't. <laughs> no. But if you pull this off, I'm coming back with a Velcro strip. Play ball or get fucking struck out. I don't mm -hmm. know what to tell you. Same game. You're not covering this house in blood, GGM. <laughs> he looks so sad. <laughs> Stop putting me on the vlog when I have a fucking diaper on. Like, yeah. What the fuck? The fuck's going on my game? It's Adidas dog thing. Put it on over it. Oh, uh, yeah. I just don't want to get too hot. I know. I Calling account in order to accept future calls. For more information on products sense. and services, it's visit www. On the phone before I go to jail. You recently received a call from one eight seven seven thirty three thirty four. You know you it's going to be paid call. call from an inmate and a correction in account listed for your phone number. Yeah. To set up a telephone account. Fuck this shit. I'm gonna get on this right now. Um, the oxy clean this. Wait, the blood is gone. I'm guessing that's. You, oh, yeah, you didn't see the vlog last night. Pretty much gone for that shit, too. Damn. Yes. Gone in 60 seconds. Nice. Oh, fucking Nick Cage. He plays a serious role. His name is Nicholas Cage, but when he's in an action movie, his name is Nick Cage. There you go. That's interesting. Blood on the sheets. Blood on the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> blood on your ball. So fucking emo, it says love, and there's just like blood splattered across it. <laughs> That's amazing. Dick blood. We have a full action packed day, thanks to all my mistakes. Yeah, fight. We're gonna go eat at, uh, whatchamacallit today? Casa Bonita? No, close. Oh, La Fiesta. Yeah. Fuck yeah. La Fiesta! La Bambina! Remember La Bamba was the first movie that I saw a boob in. Nice. There's the scene in the beginning. 
<laughs> I don't know. Or whatever that was it was. From a Lion King, so I don't really know what made you think about yeah. tits as soon as I said Lion King. I don't know. Okay. Sometimes like the the like yoga end of the night, guys, motherfucker, yeah. I was looking at that guy who looked at you smoking and just put the biggest grin on his face in his fucking Mercedes and then just pulled. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that sound? Sucked mm -hmm. into white jeans. And he literally had a power pack like around his belt and he had like wires going to his cameras. He looked as nerdy as you possibly Passion could. Passionate like now is like all about irony. Dad shoe, like old dad shoes now. Dude, they're trolling. We're, like people are trolling fashion just to see like, it's very strange. We're in Foot Clan era, 2.0. What's up motherfuckers? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fabulous. Oh, we out here in Little Tim right now, just wildin', you know what I mean? Just out in the streets, you know? We are vloggers. And y'all other vloggers want beef? We out here, look, I'm just waiting. Stressing you out, all these plans. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm supposed to be at home cuddling with my poor baby dog. Got me out here in these streets. Yeah. No seatbelt on, living crazy. Oh, my my <laughs> <laughs> these, these shoes are my beaters, and I don't even have socks on. Honestly, mm. it's been a crazy week. I'm busy. That's how you know you're having a crazy week when you don't have time to put socks on. Yeah, it's like a fucking dry. CEO of a Fortune 500 company. And you're like, sir, you just seem to have so much in extra five, time. You need to go that miles. extra mile. Like, right, how did you do it? But my secret to success. Is I don't wear socks. <laughs> don't take that time. Saves me morning. 45 seconds every morning and over the course of time. Are you look at that sock jar and you go, which pair am I gonna wear? I don't even have to make these decisions. I'm just yeah. moving streamline like water, like a stream. Stream doesn't decide where it's gonna go, it just goes. It's going. You got time for no fucking socks. Yeah. First the socks, next is handcuffs. Remove these shackles! My name is Ernie and I can't win. I get a lot of shit from my best friend. <laughs> like if Snooky had a podcast, like I don't think that it would be as popular as fucking Joe Rogan's. I want a podcast with us and Snooki. Stay in the second We door can make it happen. We should start a podcast. Yeah. I can't podcast with Rusty and fucking Maya fucking barking and running around. And oh, they would They like, would be a you're, well, And Rusty's not going to bark? I don't know. That's my fucking dilemma. I'm offered up my house. I'm I don't want to fucking have a podcast quiet. there. The podcast is going to be about how much I hate what we're podcasting. <laughs> he doesn't bark at the house. Oof. Every time he hears something, I'm like, ah, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> just get him a chair and a mic. We'll just set him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 420 million, it might be a sign. I thought that I ought to say, sign. Give me that money, bitch. You got in the car and said, oh, I went in. I did. I got, they had shake packs for $5 and, and for a fucking eighth. They gave me four bags for 10. I literally just got a half ounce for $10 of fucking shake. Can't beat that. I mean, it's definitely the bottom of the bag. It's, yeah. not, it's not shake New York shake. That's yeah, sure. exactly. That's yeah. Look at that crack. Fucking haters out here. Other nature hating on me. Fuck that shit. All right, we might walk into a bloodbath. I know, I was thinking that. It's like full green. Oh shit, I didn't even realize that. It's just like super hard to find. It's a Adidas one? Yeah. It's a full 3M Adidas jacket that dude's wearing. Like if you go hit a flash with it, it lights up like the whole thing. Just take it easy. Don't get excited. Oh, and he's got his diaper on. Oh boy. Good man, homie. Is it bloody? I see some on his leg. Yeah, it's like full of blood, dog. Okay. God. Let me kick my shoes off. Yeah. It is full of blood. Like when you saw. <laughs> Jesus. It's literally like a pack. I know. Maybe you should get in the shower. It's fine. I can clean it. Alright. Cool. I can't even look. Alright. 
I know, baby. I know. I love you so much. It's okay. It seems like a lot of blood. Not a small amount. Like, you'd think they would have fucking taken him yesterday. Like, they couldn't. Homeboy's not there. I know, I know. Okay. I think so. What would you be doing if he was yours right now? Brandy? <laughs> 7.30, because yeah, it's seven. They said no water after midnight. Here you go. Oh. No that was it? Yeah. Hearn from Brisbane. Who are the pods? They're worth it. Yeah, we need more Snickers pods for sure. So, yeah, Carlton made this for me in the shooter. Let's put it together. Yeah, I think it's just pretty, basically those things just screw in. Yeah, just like the dials. That's cool, yeah, you just put a battery in. Nice. Stop. Yeah. Thanks, dog. Yeah. Cool, hell yeah. I know, life is probably very fucking weird for you today. I don't know what's going on. They're not changing what they're doing. So yeah. like being a rapper, the only way to really like extract your fan base from the masses is to be relatable. And like you need to relate to those people, to those individuals. So, and you don't need to try to relate to them. You just need to like be on, like that's where the part of being open comes in. Cause if you're open and you're honest about who you are and what, like, the same reason that I put like when me and you were in like a argument and I like edit yeah. it, I'm like, I come off like a dick. Putting all that stuff into the world is what makes it relatable, you know? And I feel like for a music- Well, it's like wearing your heart on your sleeve. It's like- But I feel like for a music artist, they should, like they should stop doing this whole half of this shit's behind closed doors. Here's what I present to you. I think that most musicians should vlog. I don't know why people aren't documenting what they're doing in the pro. And this is what I told you years ago, seven, eight years ago, when we were making albums. I was like, we should be documenting all of this, live streaming this. We should like. That's yeah. the real thing. Like people want inclusion. People want to be a part of shit from the ground up. People want to be the first to know about something, but you have to give them a reason and you have to be fucking genuine. And that whole, like, I said it today on fucking Twitter, like that whole, like, like my last comment on my last photo and I'll be, I'll like all your comments. Like, that's not social. You're not being a real human. Like we, the internet connects us and some people have become disconnected and that's what's fucked up. You're not supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to put yourself on this fucking crazy plane. The internet was a fucking, the commons area at your high school. You know what I mean? Who are you going to be attracted to? The person that's just talking about some funny shit or some cool shit? The person who walks up to you is like, Hey, I got some candy bars for sale. Like only $5 candy bar. I mean, that's what you're doing. Only just selling music and oh, and merch like only like yeah even our frequency you know crazy as fuck but our demand is there like if we weren't selling out and i was just like yeah. hey god yeah. like, ego switch where sometimes you're just like feeling yourself so hard yeah and then the fucking crash that is where you just everything fucking sucks so i always just think about that shit with it i think the reason a lot of people aren't successful is because they ride that ego wave where they're like think they're the shit and then when they come crashing down they don't ever expose any of that they're trying to pretend like they're just these entities you know it's like yeah. when i see corporate when i see music presented to me and it's like in a corporate fashion i'm just like I'm, there's no way i'm clicking on that i shit. think take it easy bud hey stay stay stay, right stay, stay 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 It's a lining different thing. Hmm? Yeah, okay. You weren't. We'll find out in a minute. They're not as bad as some other shits. But they're still pretty hard to get up. Okay. <laughs> Crazy explosives. And those shits are hard as fuck to get on. Okay. Let's do it. Whoa. Fuck. Oh. Oh, shit. Alright, let's go shoot it. Oh, oh, what? What? Oh, <laughs> it's time for your next tranquilizer. Everybody's rooting for you. Days 
cut a little short because obviously Omar, I didn't even really mean to leave today, but we had to go take care of stuff. Just gonna hang out with him for the rest of the night. Me and Ernie gonna go snowboarding tomorrow, I guess, while he goes to surgery because really there's nothing for me to do except wait. And if I'm waiting just here, I'm gonna be a nervous wreck. So I just, I'm just gonna go snowboarding afterwards. And we have to drop him off at like 7 a.m. So yeah, I'm just gonna head up to the mountains just for the afternoon after. What else is there to update you guys on? Every order is shipped. There's gonna be a new drop Sunday. We pretty much just drop Sundays, obviously. We'll talk about that more later. And... That's pretty much it. What do I have coming in the mail? All three Pharrells, for sure, are on the way. Um, the Pharrell BYW is still on the way. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, the Parlay CS1, and that might be it for now. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Let's take a look at it as it comes. All right, so these came from StockX. Uh, if you don't know about StockX, then you're probably just getting into buying shoes or you're living under a rock. But uh, how the shoe game works, a little quick, how the shoe game works. People buy shoes, they're in limited numbers. A lot of those people don't even want the shoe. So they take that shoe and they want to sell it for the most amount of money. So for years we dealt with the fact that motherfuckers just made up prices for whatever they wanted. Now this kind of keeps track. There's a bidding system. You can outright buy the shoes and somebody checks them out to make sure that they're real, boom, bam, boom. They send them to you. Everything is happy. It's authenticated, da, 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 da. If you were to happen to have a problem with your transaction, StockX has got you. They'll take care of it. Uh, they're good friends of mine. We work together. They got me these shoes. I'm forever grateful. So yeah, if you don't fuck with StockX yet, probably eventually will. I don't think there's any way around it at this point. The shoe box is just a regular Adidas OG blue and white shoe box. Um, crazy BYWX. So, I have the shoe on my foot still. So, this is what the shoe looks like. Um, so this review is not a performance review. I would like to go ahead and state that I do not play, I do not play basketball, uh, in a performance manner. When I do play basketball at my gym, yes, I still go to my gym. I, uh, I don't really, I, I, I don't get guarded. You know what I mean? Like, I just fucking shoot the ball. I'm out here to have fun. I'm not in competition. I just want to get the ball in the hole. But this is a performance model, sort of. It is. I'll get into it in a second. Um, but this is the BYWX. This is the BYW Level 1. I've taken a look at this. I've given you a full review of this, as well as a Dirty Earn review. Just kind of want you to see both next to each other. Uh, right off top, the materials are... Materials are pretty much the same. The cut is different. And then there's some upgrades on the BYWX. This is not a performance shoe. Some people have been playing basketball in it. Not suggested so much uh, in my opinion, but hey, knock yourself out or knock your ankles out, whatever it is. But this definitely more lifestyle. So we're clear. Uh, but the X is a completely different model um, or a souped up model, but it feels completely different than the level one. So the upper itself is a PK upper. I mean, it's not your regular prime knit. It's definitely a little thicker, but it's not, um, but it's still a knit upper. Same embroidered stitches in the knit that you have in the level one. And then you have this sort of hard plastic TPU toe guard, which you see this in a lot of performance shoes where they change the toe guard. Uh, sometimes it seems like the knit is thinner for movement and this obviously thicker, and I believe that's just to keep your foot from sliding around the shoe a little bit. Outside of the shoe where this is corduroy in the level one, you have a suede panel, the lacing system, the three three stirrups, no, no three stripes on there, but and then the laces sort of make your three stripes are pretty bulky. They look flimsy. If, like even on the level one, I was like, those are gonna snap, but so far so good, nothing's happened. Um, um, and I haven't seen any snap, so it's fine. On the medial side, you have nylon straps instead. These are definitely a little, uh, obviously, more sturdy. And then lacing this thing up, it actually locks down pretty well in your. And that's one thing I will say about this upper is this is like night and day compared to the compared to the level one. The level one is just more of like a lounge loafer, like super comfortable shoe, like light and airy. This is still pretty light. I don't think this is this is the same knitting. It's not more breathable. The way that your foot's locked down into the knit, and then this ankle collar just. The lo it's just, it's crazy. Like the lockdown of the knit and the lockdown of the laces is just completely different 
than this other shoe. Pretty sturdy, really sturdy laces and sturdy lacing system. So the support in the shoe is actually really nice. This sock collar is amazing. Compared to uh, Crazy Explosive, it's again, night and day. Like this is just not stretchy and not the prime net we're used to really. And this just has much more of that softer blanket feel, which makes the shoe a lot easier to get on. Still not the easiest shoe to throw on, but definitely not like this. Same BYW setup as far as the boost goes, except this is in closed boost at the front and then obviously you have exposed boost in the back really really feel this exposed boost like when you're walking it kind of like pushes you forward i'm sure when you're playing bass maybe it just bounces you up maybe you can just dunk in these and just bounces you straight to the goal maybe from the goal hoop whatever so the front of the shoe with this boost being enclosed like all the way around this is actually a function is what happens when this is enclosed and you shit shit and when you step down onto the boost doesn't have anywhere to expand to it, it can't respond as well it's being constricted by the plastic that's that's around it so you don't feel the response as much and you feel it in the heat which is a deliberate thing in my opinion because it just makes for a, like like a fun shoe to wear like walking around is kind of fun you sort of feel like you're cheating at life yes and i've mentioned it a couple of times like what i learned in makers is how they're adding features onto the shoe itself and just building onto the shoe without adding just extra stuff you know like just extra non-functional bullshit and that's the thing i like about the shoe because everybody knows I'm not a super big basketball fan, but this is the most minimal basketball shoe that I've ever seen in my life. Like there's just nothing extra. There's no like super crazy padding. I mean, there's a nice little heel. There's definitely some heel padding in there that is super, super nice. And you have support. And then the way you sit into the boost, like you almost sit down into the heel and into the toe. And it's almost like sitting down into a car. So you're riding in the boost, so to speak. That marriage with the upper and just holding you in place is just, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I, I, don't, I don't even care to play basketball on this shoe, honestly. And I don't even really need this toe guard. Like, I'd be fine if it wasn't. But I like it aesthetically. 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 I like it. At, someone, people always make fun of me for the way I say it. As, aesthetically? Aesthetically. Uh, the BYW X versus the one boost separates a little different. So you have one piece of separation. The This chastity that runs up through... You kind of have this whole torsion system in the level one. You just, you don't see it if it is there. As far as traction goes, I don't know. Like basketball shoes, I feel like pretty much are made for indoor courts. This is like really soft. Like the whole bottom of the shoe is pretty soft. I feel like the crazy explosive is tougher. And I mean, I've played in these a couple of times and they're fine, but this just, I mean, this feels super, the whole sole of it feels super soft. It'd probably be fine for me because I'm not playing like competitive basketball. But I do like a lot of the flip flop colors and just sort of the craziness of the shoe and then um, it's just a wild shoe it's super cool I think it's fine for a lifestyle I don't think it necessarily needs to be an on-court shoe I'm looking forward to wearing it for like a full day and really like figuring it out because when I wear a basketball shoe like when I wear these these are the lows it's just not the same like when I wear these even on court after a little while they start to hurt my feet I'm really looking forward to seeing how this feels after all day is definitely the most minimal basketball shoe that I think you could get. The suede that's, or that's not suede, that's plastic. Other than the suede panel here, you have this uh, rubber pull tab on the back, which actually kind of helps put the shoe on, because like I said, it's not the easiest. Tongue tab, you have the performance logo as well as the trefoil. They flipped it from left to right, you know, so it's vice versa on each side. And this is the first that I'm aware of ever in existence of an Adidas Originals uh, one shoe bearing both logos I don't think has ever happened. A lot of people get super confused about the different logos. So the performance logo is, you know, more of the triangle. That is for your performance shoes, you know, like Ultra Boost, Ultra Boost. Yeah, all the performance shoes. Just early EQTs, the new EQTs are more lifestyle um, and get put out by originals. Um, but the list goes on, you know, all of the performance shoes. And then the trefoil, which goes onto the originals. So that's your like NMDs, your Stan Smiths. This is the first time that I'm aware of that D Adidas Originals has put out a performance model. So this is an Adidas Originals performance model, which I take in stride because I think that's even kind of the idea is that it's still like a light performance model. Like I think serious basketball players will still find like things to complain about in this shoe. Um, and I don't want to like overstep because I don't play sports. So I don't really want to send anybody out to play to spend 200 bucks and then it'd be like, dude, you're crazy. This shoe is not 
playable in. I do think you could play in this shoe. Very, like, I think it'd be fine. Uh, the fit on it, true to size all the way. I don't think you need to size up or size down. I don't think it has like the longevity of some of these other basketball shoes. Like this has like the forged prime knit, which feels, you know, like completely different. But this is the basketball shoe that I desire. Like this is the stuff that I like. And like I said, I'm not necessarily looking for performance, but this shoe feels amazing on foot. And I, re I really like the way it looks too. Just the whole vibe of it. The upper being super form fitting, comfort of boost. It's pretty much got everything that I love. And then just a couple of little tricks just make it different. You know, like I'm saying that heel bounce, I'm telling you, it's like Mario. It's amazing. Um, yeah, BYWX. As far as I know about release on this is that it's not coming out. I'm going to go ahead and take just a wild guess that this colorway is the 747 exclusive. I think I mentioned yesterday that I heard there's only 600 pairs of this model. So if I had to guess, these don't release and they just do other colorways that do release. Because obviously they're not going to just like scrap this, you know, I don't think it's like, oh, here's one, here you go. Interesting shoe. Really glad I got it. Again, shout out to StockX. They're tight. So if you can get them, you can get them. You will be paying resale, most likely. Not to beat a dead horse, but there's a place you can go called StockX.com to get them. So you can StockX that shit. Download the app, do your thing. And these are the shoes, what they look like on my feet. I was going to go play basketball today in them to really try out, but... I just don't have time with Omar. So I gotta get to him, I gotta take care of my baby, and then we're gonna drop him off in the morning. And I'm gonna try not to be super nervous about it. So I just get nervous about, I trust my doctor, I trust the vet, I trust everybody. I just get super nervous about bulldog and anesthesia. Yeah, I'm just gonna smoke some weed and not think about it. All right, I love you guys. Peace.